Hi there, Gemini. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at October 30 through November 5. So we're well and truly into the very tail end of 2017. And it's all about what you do and how you make your mark. This week, it looks like it's going to be a surprisingly quiet Halloween week with no ghosts and only one small goblin to endure. There are no major alignments on Halloween Day, but the mysterious Pisces moon provides the perfect backdrop for uh, trick-or-treating. On Friday, November 3, a Sun-Neptune trine stirs up our emotional, spiritual and creative juices, encouraging you to pay homage to something bigger than yourself, Geminis. This is the second time the Sun and Neptune have been in trine aspect this year. The last time was July 5. Look back into your diary and see what happened July 5. The benefits of the Sun-Neptune trine extend to the Taurus full moon, Saturday, November 4, in your 12th house of past karma, subconscious and self-renewal. Marking the next two weeks is the best time of the month to wind down artistic projects, get rid of bad habits and complete assignments. Watch out on that same day for a one-time Venus-Uranus opposition that could signal a surprising hard spell for even the most stable relationships and erratic turns in finances. And speaking of more changes, it's time to either fall back or fall forward, depending on which hemisphere you live in, because daylight saving time ends and on Sunday, November 5. Set your clocks back one hour before you go to bed on Saturday night if you're in the northern hemisphere or forward one hour if you're in the southern hemisphere. It's the same day that Mercury, your ruler, the planet of clear thinking and planning, moves out of, Sagitt of Scorpio and into Sagittarius, your relationship zone, where he stays right through the end of 2017, but manages to go retrograde as well. Unfortunately, Mercury's shift into Sagittarius can put the thinking process at a distinct advantage. Sagittarius often misses the details doesn't read the fine print and has a tendency to throw tack to the wind and blurt out observations best kept private. And as I said, Mercury will turn retrograde in Sagittarius in December. So these tendencies will be extended until the end of the year. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. Like yourself, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Thanks so much for tuning in, Geminis, and I do look forward to speaking to you again next week.